Welcome to Whiskey Nightcaps, the channel where we do sip before sleep. And I am your host, fam, Jason Davis. And today, man, I had to get all dressed up, buttoned up for you guys because we're talking about Dalmore. Now, really, I just came home from work and I just didn't feel like changing. But hey, listen, you guys get the benefit of my laziness. Now, at some point in time, when you've gone to the store, you've seen this bottle. Or perhaps you haven't because usually it's in a box, but you get my point, okay? You have recognized the name Dalmore, and when you see it or when you hear it, you think prestige. And, and, and part of that comes from the Master Blender and also the mouthpiece for this brand, Richard Patterson. If you haven't seen this guy, he is quite, quite the cat. And I'll probably link a video down below so you can take a look at this guy, the way he splashes whiskey on the ground and his eccentric tasting methods, okay? Now, this whiskey is a 12-year-old single malt at 40% ABV, so not much punch to it. But that really does not surprise me for a single malt scotch, especially one that is supposed to be held in such high regards, okay? Like a Macallan or something like that. But what we're here today is to find out whether or not this whiskey can live up to the name and also to the price point, which is $75, okay? So this is probably one that uh, when you go by, you say, mm, maybe next time because you may not feel like shelling out that kind of money. Maybe you think you can get two bottles for the price of one or you're like, hey, I'll just get some bourbon instead, right? So let's take a look at this thing today. Now it was matured in ex bourbon casks, okay? And then around the end of that maturation process, they take a portion out, not the whole thing, but they take a portion out and they put those in sherry butts and then they blend those back together at the end. So that's a pretty unique method. Usually people would just finish the whole entire thing in sherry, bottle it, put it on the shelf, that's the end of it, but they only take out a little bit and leave the rest of it to mature in those ex-bourbon casks. Like, if you can't tell me my voice is all messed up, I, I feel like I'm under the weather. It's not COVID. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. Beautiful color on that, beautiful color, but you would expect nothing less from something that has aged 12 years, okay? Let's go to the nose. Right up front, you get the results of that sherry butt. So you smell the fruit, the raisins right on top, followed by a little bit of vanilla. If you continue to go in there, I mean like really deep, behind all of that, because the sherry is the strongest note, you get a little bit of apple and pear. That's the malted barley. Well, usually that's what I pick up on malted barley and, and single malt scotches. That's like a repeat nose for me. So we have to talk fancy when we talk about Dalmore. So it has a beautiful bouquet. Now don't be misled by the fact that it was in ex bourbon cast. You're not picking up any bourbon notes on this. I I'm hardly picking up any kind of spice, any kind of barrel spice or any kind of cinnamon spice, anything like that. All right, let's go to the palate. It's not half bad. You get a little bit of spice right there on the front. The sherry influence is not as huge as you would think it would be if you just went strictly off of the nose. You would think it would be a lot more pronounced than just bam, raisins in your face. But you get a little bit of that oakiness. Like I said, a little bit of that spice. Nice, perfectly balanced. It's 40%, so it's an easy sipper. It's not really viscous. It's very light watery type of texture. Let's have some more. This is my vaccine right here. I'm picking up some of the vanilla notes <clears throat> and then on the back end, there's a little bit of the tannins uh, from the wine, uh, or I'm assuming it's coming from the wine. So it gives it kind of that, I don't want to say sour, but that's the only way I can describe it. A, a sour type of note on the back end, but not something that's unpleasant. If you drink like Merlots and stuff like that, then you know what I'm talking about. I got a little bit of dark chocolate, which is bitter. And maybe that's, that's what I was looking for earlier, was not sour, but a bitter kind of taste. 
Guess I gotta finish it off, dog. All right, okay. So what's the verdict? Now I've had this bottle pretty much maybe, maybe over a year now. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of coffee, a little bit of coffee bitterness and dark chocolate bitterness. Um, it's a quality whiskey, no doubt, right? So, and, and I'm leading with that because I'm trying to soften the blow of what I'm about to say, right? Which is that for $75, right? I expect just a tad bit more. Now, I know what some of you are saying in your head, and you'll probably be in the comments like, Jason, well, what about the 15 year? And what about the cigar blend? We're not talking about those, okay? We're talking about this particular whiskey right here. We're talking about the 12 year and a ratio of value to price paid, value to dollar, right? For 75 dollars on a single malt possibly you can get something just a tad bit better that maybe maybe may have a slightly higher abv or maybe not because like i said a mccallum is still going to run you some cash you got to have some ducats and you're not getting that much abv um and like i said i'm not disrespecting this whiskey because a lot of work went into producing this and it is quality but when it comes to your money, man, I know you don't have cash to waste, right? $75, you may be able to get something that costs $50 because that's how much I think that this will be worth 50, 55 bucks, right? Boom, have no problem all day long. But 75, and then when you go to the 15 year, it doubles in price, it goes up to 140, $150. All right, so have you had this before? If you have, let us know in the comments below. Do you think it's worth the money? And if you do, tell us why. And if not, tell us why or what you would buy in place of this if you had that $75 to just throw away. All right, we will see you guys again next week. I know we didn't have that many videos this week, but we'll double it up. I got something special. I got a promotion coming for you guys. And I have a donation from my man, Sean Dent, Woodenville Bourbon. That review is coming to you guys soon. I'll see you on the next go round. Whiskey Nightcaps out.